So what do you think about original sin? Ah, that's a good thing. Okay. So original sin to me is a concept that I would like to burn in effigy. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean by that. First of all, it goes back to the Old Testament, the Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden, blah, blah, blah. That story is, of course, an allegory. There's no reality based to it, okay? I don't think man was created from the earth, like from clay, which is what Adam is supposed to be. It stands for clay. Okay, so when you do that, what you're saying is that everybody's evil, therefore worship a God so we can save your ass. It was just a way to control people by phony religions, with all due respect. I'm a monotheist, I believe in God, I don't believe in their God. And if you say original sin, that would be like saying, how about this? All women are whores because of um, Eve fucking around with Satan and the original sin of the, the tree of knowledge. Really, do you wanna be blamed for some bitch thousands of years ago that didn't exist? I got a problem with that. To me, you're responsible for your own moral ethical code. So if you have original sin, you can't win that game. You're always a, a skank, right? I, I have a problem with that. Hmm. Um, what, is it important to be grounded? I guess it is, but I'd like to know more about being grounded. Well, you wanna be grounded to be organized, but there are times when you go out of the body, you're not grounded, you're now in your astral body in the fifth dimension. So being grounded means that you don't wanna be airyfairy.com. You want to be able to have a purpose in life, focus your energies, be disciplined, do your thing in this dimension, okay, which is very physical. This is the physical plane. Um, but yeah, you do want to be grounded. And um, that's why a lot of techniques, especially out of body techniques and some healing techniques are focusing in on grounding yourself first before you do anything exotic. So in your book, Astral Voyages, you talked about the rainbow bridge to align the higher four chakras. So my first question is about aligning the higher four chakras. If, how do you know that the lower ones are aligned in order to align the higher ones? Well, this is called the higher chakras link, okay? And that means you link the, the heart to the throat to the third eye and the crown chakra. Now, if you link those together, first of all, that's a great psychic protection technique, okay? That's number one. If you link those four chakras, those are the higher chakras, the lower ones are automatically linked. That's why I focus in on those first. So is the, like, when you say they're linked, is the lower chakra connecting into the earth and the upper chakra connecting to like the 13th plane or like? Well, the first chakra, yeah, you can say that's connecting into the earth, it's grounding, but let's, let's say all seven chakras are out of sync, okay? That's not uncommon. So if you link, we're using the, the bridge, the rainbow bridges I call it. So if you link the higher chakras, Again, automatically the others are taken care of. So you don't have to worry about the lower ones. The lower ones are, a lot of people like to focus on linking or, or uh, you know, uh, coordinating and balancing the lower chakras, but that's a very hard, tedious procedure. If you do the uppers, you, you, you win the game. So it's a much more efficient method. Mm -hmm.